All right, so we got a little bit of a different install for you guys today. You know what this means? We're going to pick up our trailer. Well, here she is. Our big Tex car hauler. And yes, we are gonna be pulling it with the Tacoma. People get weird about hauling with smaller trucks, but it's not that they don't have the power. It's just, they're not as heavy, so you feel the weight a lot more. And you gotta make sure that your brakes are good. But I'll also be installing a trailer brake controller in the truck. That way we can actually use the trailer to help stop. Get it over the hump. You're good, just keep keep them turned. Yeah, right there. You're good. Absolutely perfect. First try. <laughs> First time ever, guys. <laughs> and the tacos all clean. All right, guys. So we're out here. And if you live anywhere where it gets just brutally cold in the wintertime, you'll understand how absolutely amazing today feels. It's been negative 30 degrees at night and pretty close to that during the daytime some days. And now today is our first day of just beautiful weather. So we got our trailer home and now we don't want to really throw straps around the car, attach it to like the A-arms or just anything like that. We want to do it as clean as possible, as simple as possible, without the room for the car to potentially get damaged. So I went ahead and I got some things for the trailer in order for us to do exactly that with hauling the car. So in this box, I have some special straps, hardware, and then this box, I actually have the E-Track system. So I'll go ahead, I'll kind of unbox these things, lay it out just so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, we're not really truck people or doing stuff like this. We do tuner cars and everything. So this is gonna be a little bit different than what we kind of usually do, but it's gonna make life a lot easier. It's Kind of us stepping up a little bit, stepping our game up. So I'll go ahead, get this all laid out for you guys, and then we'll check it out. Okay, so this is everything that I got here. And all this, other than like the drill and the tools and stuff like that, but all of that was, I believe, like 200, 210 bucks for everything. And I went ahead, I got these little end plates that go on the edge here. That way it's not a sharp edge. It's just a smooth transition when you're driving up onto them. And then just basically a ton of hardware. Just cause I figured it'd be simple and easier and cheaper to just get their stuff since it wasn't too bad than run into the hardware store and trying to piece out everything that I need. 
but this is what this came with and I'll link it in the description the kit that I got and everything. I'll kind of go through and explain how these work and chances are you already know since you're searching for this but if you just want some more information and just found out about these this will hopefully help you so you have the straps here this is the portion that goes over the wheel and these are locked in place it's all stitched right here so they don't go anywhere these are what will sit over the wheel so using this the spare as a demonstration these will sit on the wheel they have little grooves on them so they get kind of locked in place so they don't slide around in the grooves here this front portion is going to lock in down here then you'll have this one in the middle and this one will connect right behind the tire so it'll be like this and then you have your ratchet at the end that also connects but then as you tighten everything this is solid front is solid and then it just pulls the strap tight around the tire to hold the vehicle in place but i'll go ahead i'll finish up measuring and then i'll start securing these down all right so every couple holes i just sent a screw through and honestly that's probably more than enough to hold it but just to make sure we're safe got a bunch of hardware and everything i went through and drilled the end holes out and then i'm actually going to throw another probably at least one more set of these somewhere in the center if not just two just to be safe but drilled all these out so these will screw into place and then I have a washer and nut to go on the bottom side of it and at least we're close to the edge of the trailer so it's pretty easy to access those the one thing though that you want to keep in mind is where you're drilling because there's framework underneath and like things like this will get in the way if it goes too far there is a gap on top of this on the bottom side here that I can come around the side and get to but you just want to make sure your path is clear before you start drilling holes uh, unneeded holes so once you have everything checked out then go ahead start drilling and then just put the nuts and bolts on and then that's pretty much it as far as insulation goes like this system it's super simple super easy to do it's not that expensive like I said this was like just over 200 bucks and then that came with the four or five foot sections of the tracks and then the ratchet straps with the proper connects for it and everything else and these are specifically for going over tires and strapping the car down that way so yeah I'll go ahead I'm gonna get the rest of these bolts in and then we won't be able to really test this out because the car is in the garage on jack stands getting a bunch of stuff done but that's pretty much the finished product guys all right so i'll quickly demonstrate how these how these really work i get the angle right try to get the top of the wheel anyways and i'm just using one of the wheels off our car right now to show you how the strap system works like i said none of this actually attaches to the car you don't have to hook around any toe points or axles or a arms anything else like that so no damage to your vehicle at all so say you got the car drive up on the e-track system take your strap get around the tire and now this front one just locks in place. And you'll want to adjust this little sheath. And this is just something to protect it as well as allow the strap itself to slide through here without any resistance. Then we'll go through here.
Get that locked in place. And then this back portion. And obviously I'd have it further forward and everything. Just so it gives me a little extra room back here to tighten it, but that gives you the basic idea. And that's it. One done, you do that four times, car's strapped down, car's secure, car's not being damaged, looks good. It's just, this is definitely the way to go.